Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another haul. I know I've been doing so many hauls lately but what can I say I love shopping and as always I really enjoy sharing with you guys what I purchased. Also do not mind my hair. I didn't feel like doing it and this is just my natural hair with no product in it. My natural curls so don't mind my hair. It's I went all natural today. So for this haul I will be hauling some makeup products. All these makeup items that I purchased is from the drugstore so you can get this anywhere. CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, any drugstore you can purchase these items and a lot of these items I have never tried out before and I believe like two of them are actually new products that are in the drugstore. So if you guys are interested in me doing a first impressions comment down below. Also like this video give it a thumbs up. Just let me know you guys would like me to do that and I will definitely do a first impressions for you guys and let you guys know how I like it and how it applies and all that. So let's just jump right into the haul. I didn't buy too much stuff. I only bought a few things. So I'll share with you guys the two lip products that I purchased. The first one is by e.l.f. Now I never tried a lip oil so I thought this was interested. It is a tinted lip oil in pink kiss i also really liked the packaging so it's kind of like a rosy color i thought it was a really cute color so i decided to grab that and i've also never tried a lip oil if any of you guys have ever tried a lip oil and you like it let me know how it works comment down below let me know so that is the first lip product the next lip product is going to be a repurchase and it is the next liquid suede and i have the color soft spoken in 04. I love this color. Like I said, this is a repurchase. I've purchased this before and I just like how it applies. It's a matte lipstick, but it's not over drying. So I really like this little liquid lipstick. Next is going to be from CoverGirl and I bought three things from CoverGirl. The first thing is this clean matte BB cream. Now I had recently purchased this BB cream, but I purchased it in the shade above this and it was a little too dark for me. So I had to go a shade down. I feel like this is gonna be too light for me, so maybe I'll mix the colors. But I'm looking for a really good drugstore BB cream for days. I don't wanna use a heavy foundation, so I thought I would try this one out. Now these next two items I've never tried. I believe they are new. When I walked into my Target, it was a big, huge display saying new products from CoverGirl. So I decided to try these out. This one is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. I got mine in 742 Medium Beige. So I thought this would be good to go over the BB cream or even on days where I just don't want to wear much makeup. Maybe I can just apply a little bit of this powder all over my face. The other new product is this Cover Girl Concealer. It is Vitalist Healthy Concealer, and I got mine in Deep, and that is how it looks. I think the packaging is really pretty as well, so really interested to see how this works. In the back, it says, as a soft brush pen, it conceals skin imperfections to brighten your complexion. It improves skin texture for fresh and healthy look and formulated with vitamin E, B3, and B5. And it's also suitable for sensitive skin, which I have super sensitive skin. So hopefully this will work out. Next is going to be this blush by Wet n Wild. Now my holy grail favorite, favorite blush from Wet n Wild is another one like in this packaging, but it is called... What is it called? <laughs> you gotta back up. I'm drawing a blank of what it's called, but I will insert the name right here of what it's called. But it's like holy grail. I've always, I think it's called Mellow Wine, but I love it. This one I've never tried. It is called Pearlescent Pink. So it's kind of like a peachy color. It's not very pink. It's more of like a peach tone. So I thought I would try that out. You guys, I'm sorry. My kids are all up in the camera. You guys, go play. Next is going to be an eyebrow pencil. I need a new eyebrow pencil or eyebrow product in general. So I decided to try this one out. It is by Ramel. I got it in dark brown and it is a pencil one. So it looks like that. The packaging just broke, but that is how it looks. And then it has like a brush on this side so you can brush your eyebrows and then just a pencil. So I want to see if this will work really well in my eyes or not. I always have a hard time looking for a good eyebrow pencil. Next is going to be by Wet n Wild and it's just their pencil eyeliner. I like to use these pencil eyeliners to tight line my eyes. So I needed a new one. The last one I had, I believe was a different brand, 
but it was so old so I just need a new one and this will last me like the entire year or even more because like I said I only use it to tight line. The next product is also by Wet n Wild and it is their Ultimate Brow Highlighter. So I thought I would try this out. I've never tried anything like this out before underneath my eyebrows. So it says it's supposed to brighten and shape and it contains green tea extract and it lifts your brows. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so the last and final item that I purchased is by Almay and it is a mascara. Now I think mascara is probably my favorite makeup item other than lip products. So this is just in black and it's supposed to lengthen your eyelashes and make them look nice and long. So hopefully this works out because I always have a hard time looking and finding a really good mascara. Right now I'm really loving the L'Oreal Voluminous. I've been using that for years, but I want to try something new. So I thought I would try this out and I thought the orange packaging was really pretty. Hey guys, so that is going to end my makeup haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, look out for my giveaway. I will be doing a giveaway very soon. I have reached 1,000 subscribers, which I'm so excited and grateful for. So, as promised, I will be doing a giveaway. I just have to film that, edit it, and upload it. So, it should be up probably sometime next week. So, definitely look out for that. Also, comment down below. Let me know if you would like me to do my first impressions on all of these makeup items. If you do, then I will definitely do that for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.